In the Pokemon trading card game online, there were a number of different versus modes in which you could play against others. Of course, there's standard format, which only uses the most recent block of cards. There's expanded, which allows you to play with cards from black and white onward. There was a legacy format from like that was primarily heart gold, soul silver. And today I really wanted to talk about the online exclusive theme matchmaking, which was a wildly popular way for players to play the game. Now, theme battle has been pretty stagnant. The Pokemon company stopped making theme decks at the end of 2020, and they haven't added any new decks since. And now with Pokemon Trading Card Game Live, at the time of this recording, there is no theme matchmaking equivalent in that game. And one of the questions that I always get on my, my YouTube channel is, is Jet, are they going to add theme battles back to PTCG Live? Now, I don't work for the Pokemon company. I don't have any insight as to the inner workings of the company and whether this is coming back. So this is all my personal speculation, but I did want to answer the question today with rationale based on what we've seen from the Pokemon company and where I think the game is going. I'm Jeff from InThirdPerson.com. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about the theme matchmaking and if it's coming back and just for context theme battle is a a, a mode in ptcgo that let players battle it out with pre-constructed decks these are the theme decks you would find in the store theme decks have existed in the pokemon trading card game since pretty much the very beginning and up until the end of Vivid Voltage, they looked something like this. Yes, I know the packaging changed with the very early ones, but it was basically this. You would get a, a pre-made deck of 60 cards, and then the flashy card would be like a hollow. In this example of Vivid Voltage, it's got the, the hollow Charizard here. And at the end of 2020, the way in which these decks were built changed and we saw the introduction of v battle decks and there are two major differences between v battle decks and theme decks one of which is that in the old days of theme decks and i might be wrong on this i'm pretty sure this is correct though is that theme decks were built with cards from the set they were from so for example here sword and shield vivid voltage this deck is primarily built with cards from Vivid Voltage, and that's it. Versus V Battle decks, they took away that restriction and they just said, we're gonna pull in whatever cards we want from uh, standard legal sets and put them into these V Battle decks. But the biggest change is that that flashy card at the front. Here, for a long time, the biggest card was just a regular hollow card. And once they moved over to V Battle decks, they changed it by putting in a Pokemon fee and this created a a schism a, a like a core balancing issue within the context of theme decks because now we have changed how these decks are built and we have thrown in a a big basic with over 200 hp with massive moves and like all the, the theme decks as they already were, were already being crap power crept with the, the overall power level rising in the game to the point where this is one of the only decks you could play in, in theme matchmaking. It's like this one, the char, the, the Dragonite one, maybe the Raikou one, but really there were like three, four decks you could play and, and that's about it. But then once you introduce these, all of a sudden these have a different power level that generally speaking is going to be higher than almost all of these because they have that ultra rare card with the massive HP and the big attacks. And so these just don't, from a balancing perspective, don't jive well with these. And it's it's clear that the Pokemon company didn't want to add these to theme battle because they felt like they were overpowered. And so for, since 2020, they haven't added any of these decks into PTCGO. And I don't think that's going to change in live because not only is there a balancing issue between the old style theme decks, the, the V battle decks, but the recently revealed EX battle decks 
they have EX cards instead of V cards. And these are not the same. Just because there is an ultra rare here doesn't mean these are the same type of card either, right? Chen Pao is a basic, which is kind of like the Venusaur here, but like the Ampharos one is a stage two and that you have to evolve upwards. And the, again, that is a different type of deck with different balancing considerations as well. So now you've got like three different formats of theme decks that don't really jive well together from a gameplay balance standpoint. And I don't think the Pokemon company is interested in trying to find a way to make these work. And I think that if you just jam all of these into matchmaking, that it would just come down to like whatever the strongest, like the one or two strongest decks with no real room for variation because these are all fixed deck lists. So uh, in that sense, because of the gameplay issues that the schism creates, I don't see them bringing theme battle back. And I don't think you bring back just here's V battle matchmaking and here's EX battle matchmaking because there just aren't that many decks in either of these formats. And going forward, once EXs go away and they introduce whatever the next thing is, I again, it's just going to create yet another schism where these decks just can't mesh from a gameplay balance perspective. And in case anyone's wondering, like, hey, why did they even create this schism in the first place? Uh, again, I don't work at the Pokemon company, but I'm pretty sure it has to do with shelf appeal. They're thinking about these products on the shelf first. They are printing thousands of these decks and on the shelf at a certain point, by the time we got to here, um, these ultra rare cards, the EXs, the old EXs, the like, small EX, big EX, GX, those cards had been in the wild for years, and those were kind of the, the cards that sell packs and sell collector boxes, and these just did not have that shelf appeal anymore because the hollow on the front just doesn't have the same appeal as like that, that sort of Pokemon V ultra rare look, and so they, they made the change to help these sell better and it just changes the balance of the game and again we can see they're they're doing that here as well because people are way more likely to want to buy a deck that has the chen pao ex than you know and charizard's a fan favorite pokemon but like there were other ones the dreadnought deck and and so on that just aren't going to sell as much as getting that that flashy ultra rare on the front of the box and be, there we go so in short the the schism created by having different types of theme theme decks makes it pretty much impossible to balance between the three and players would just gravitate to like the one or two best decks with no real room for changing the deck list around and it would just we would just be it'd be a very stale format and even more limited because of the way in which these these decks are now balanced the other indicator to me that tells me that the pokemon company have no interest in bringing theme battle back into ptcg live is the way that they currently handle ptcg live and yes the game is in beta and one could argue that theme battle isn't in there because they're not done building all the modes. They don't even have expanded fully built out. And maybe once that's all done, they'll put in theme battle. And I don't think that's the case. And I think there are signs that tell us that theme battle isn't coming back. And the biggest indicator to me of that is the free decks that they already give players they're not giving players theme decks or ways to unlock theme decks they are giving players standard meta decks whether that's the free decks that unlock as soon as you open the game to the battle pass decks and here's an example the t literal 2022 world championship deck by andre scubal arceus flying pikachu decidueye they just gave that to us they also in the battle pass have given us a ton of of the best decks including palkia v star mu v max multiple times arceus multiple times lugia v star um in this most recent round of the battle pass we got maridon ex and gardevoir ex these are infinitely better than any of the theme decks that could have been unlocked in ptcgo and I, I don't think this is just a matter of they haven't had time to build in theme battle. I think that the primary focus of the Pokemon trading card game is getting players into standard. And it's arguably always been that way, right? They introduced 
the the standard rotation many many years ago almost as old as the the card game itself and their focus has always been standard let's make cards or make this game focus around the most recent sets partially so that the game can be balanced with a more reasonable card card pool but also just for new players coming into the game you can go to a store and buy cards that can be standard that are standard legal right now you're not worrying about having to buy staple cards that were released 10 years ago and are an exorbitant price because they're out of print right they they have the standard format to make it easier for new players to get in and it, it's kind of always been that way yes they did introduce expanded a couple of years ago to allow for cards from black and white onward to to have their own mode but the pokemon company clearly is they're not making cards specifically for expanded you look at the way the cards are built they're almost exclusively built for standard so that it works in that format and the problem with theme battle is that it doesn't get players into standard especially in the way that it was built in ptcgo what i'm going to pull up here is a a post that i wrote on my website in thirdperson.com and i looked at the leaderboards for ptcgo they have a website and you can look at the where you rank on in the rankings but the the interesting thing is you could go all the way to the back page of the leaderboards and see how many people had had played in those modes and it was really illuminating to me that despite the fact that standard is the prestige format it's the only one that the pokemon current punk company currently supports in major events um it's the smallest one on ptcgo there are more players in expanded and the brunt of the player base is actually in theme battle and one might say oh this is the, this is proof that they need to bring theme battle back and i don't think that pokemon company sees it that way i think they see this as a mistake and let, hear me out on this i think that the reason people play theme battle is because the barrier to theme in ptcgo is very low and the barrier to standard is extremely high and when in, in PTCGO, theme battle, 500 credits, it's not that hard. You can, in a couple of matches, you can get 500 credits and then you can play theme battle pretty much forever. You just grind the Charizard deck in your daily matchmaking and tournaments. You unlock a bunch of packs and then you're, <laughs> that's kind of it, right? But the, there is no real ramp to standard if you want to graduate from this you pretty much have to know that you are grinding for packs and then going into the game's awful trading system this was an absolute nightmare having to trade packs for for cards from other players it got very expensive if you're trying to build meta relevant decks um, it was very easy to get ripped off. Card values were wildly different from one another. And based on the numbers, like players didn't want to climb that mountain of being the Wolf of Wall Street trading packs for, for cards. I did this for years so that I could keep up. But it uh, clearly, based on the less than, there are twice as many people playing theme than standard, that a lot of players were not willing to make that jump to standard. And with the Pokemon company's focus on standard, this is a problem. And I think they are intentionally giving players the standard meta decks so that you're more likely to, to play standard, not just in PTCG Live, but also in real life, because not only are you more likely to um, have a better time playing the standard format game. It is the the most balanced, at least the one that they are putting the most time and effort to balancing. I think it's the, the better way to play the game. You are playing against optimal decks that are, are flowing and have a strategy and you're not drawing eight energy in a row because theme decks have 20 energy in them. Um, so you're getting the best experience while also being more invested in the game if you're playing standard you're probably more likely to buy more cards because they add new sets all the time and the meta changes with each set and you're you're more likely to spend money versus if you you're stuck in theme battle you, you cash in 500 credits and then you just grind out the charizard deck till the end of time 
So with that said, I think that the likelihood of theme battle coming back is slim to none. It would be nice. Like I have, don't get me wrong. I'm not the, a massive hater of theme battle. I would not be where I am without theme battle on ptcgo i did that i i bought the charizard deck i bought the dragonite deck i grinded <laughs> countless tournaments and daily matchmaking to get those packs to then trade them to get standard meta cards and i, I did all that uh but i don't think the pokemon company wants players to do that anymore because they, they're just like you know we want you to play standard it's the best way to play the game this is our our best foot forward and if you just get to play it the way we think is optimal you are more likely to stick with the game and and buy more cards so i and yeah i think there's still a place for theme decks like they're, they're clearly continuing to make more with ex battle decks and v battle decks but i think they think of these as more of a a, a learning tool for irl players and if if you want to go into the the digital realm they they are more willing to just give you the good stuff right away so you can have an optimal experience so there we go Th those are my thoughts on the the potential world or return of theme battle of course by the time you watch this the paldea evolved could be out the the game will be out of beta maybe they introduce a a theme battle at that point and this video will be horribly out of date almost as soon as it comes out and i'll be kind of embarrassed but that's fine based on the information that we have right now this is what i think is happening and i just don't see a world in which theme battle comes back what say you? I know there's a lot of people that either have strong thoughts on this. There are people that love theme battle. There are people that are like, I don't want to play in standard because it's too sweaty. But again, I don't necessarily think the Pokemon company thinks about it in, in those terms. I think they think that theme battle is it's a, it's a great stepping stone for, for new players, but like they really want you to play standard to the point they're just going to give you the cards for free in PTCG Live. Anyhow, what do you think? Let me know in the comments of this video and I got to get going. Thank you so much for watching. Some quick plugs before we go. You can find me on all the things, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram at in third person. You can find me on Twitch at in third person where I play the Pokemon trading card game every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. And check out the website in thirdperson.com for more articles and videos on video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits. So until the next one, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hmm. <laughs>